What's up guys, welcome back to FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. All right guys, in this video, we got a special topic. Today we're gonna to talk about being on a mountain team. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. What do you know about being on a mountain team? I don't know shit about being on a mountain team. Get out of here, let me take this, <laughs> I got it. All right, Kurt's gonna to talk to you about being on a mountain team. What's up, guys? So, as Buck said, I'm here to talk to you about being on a mountain team. So each SFODA has a different specialty. For me, I was on a mountain team. Now, when I got to my company, I had no idea about mountain teams or mountains in general. I'm a Florida boy, born and raised. First time I ever saw real mountains was when I was driving from Florida to Fort Lewis to sign in to First Group. So when I found out I was going on a mountain team, I was I knew I was completely out of my element. But I also knew that I saw the guys walking around the team rooms or walking around the halls when I was on the B team with all their mountain equipment, and I thought, that looks cool. So, super excited to be on a mountain team. Now, when you get to a mountain team, you're going to notice, at least from my experience, the teammates, the team itself had a little bit different vibe than all the other teams. Some of the teams, you had big meatheads that were always in the gym, you know, the dive teams, the boat teams, stuff like that. But my team was, all the guys were a little bit smaller and they were a lot more cardio based, but that was because, as we called ourselves, we were essentially a high altitude ruck team. So you got to think, as my team sergeant explained to me when I first got there, was if you're a 200 plus, you're a bigger guy and you go down in a mountain, you're really going to put a burden on the rest of the team because then they got to carry your big ass off of that mountain. So... A lot of our missions, as you can imagine, had to do around mountains. So we would go on J sets to train other countries on mountaineering and mountaineering rescue, high angle rescue, rock climbing, um, tactical operations in a mountainous environment. So all of these things come with their own set of challenges. So one of the most rewarding wish missions I got to do, we got to go to Nepal right after the 2015 earthquake when they found out that they really had no idea how to conduct um, or how to handle a mass casualty event in an alpine environment, we got to go there and we got to help train them on alpine rescue and mountaineering techniques, which was phenomenal. So, like I said, you get to do a wide range of different uh, mountaineering operations, whether it be rock climbing in the summer or traversing across glaciers in the winter, alpine mountaineering, a lot of cool training events, a lot of cool missions, um, it was a great time in general. So as a member of First Group, we we're in Washington State. So right in our backyard, we had Mount Rainier. It's one of the most prominent mountains in America. It's 14,400 feet. I was a brand new guy in the mountain team. One of the first things I got to do was summit Mount Rainier with my team. It was one of the most challenging and one of the most rewarding times of my career. It was a phenomenal experience, and it was something that I was super glad I got to do and really instilled in me a love for the mountains. Um, when you're on a mountain team, there's a couple different trainings that you'll get to do that's selective and only for people on mountain ODAs. And some of these are the mountaineering schools, the summer mountaineering school and the winter mountaineering school that's held in Colorado at Fort Carson. These are both phenomenal courses. You get to spend a summer, about two months in the summertime in Colorado, climbing, rock climbing, Boulder Canyon, Flat Irons, uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. All of these areas, it's a phenomenal time. And then if you pass that and you're lucky enough, you can get selected to go back for the winter mountaineering school, which we got to spend three straight weeks skiing on Vail Mountain. After that, we do a lot of backcountry skiing. You get to summit some 14ers in the wintertime. It's an all around amazing time. And I enjoyed every minute of it. And then after that, operationally, you're going to different countries um, that have mountainous environments and you get to train there. You get to train other countries there. You get to operate there. It is a phenomenal time, and in my opinion, the best ODA experience you can have is on a mountain team. There's a lot of other teams, but those aren't anywhere near as good as a mountain team, in my opinion. So, hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you learned a little bit more about a mountain team, and we'll see you later. No.